guys, it's Ninja Mom, and I have another Nana Make Sense haul for you. This time it is customs. Um, and she sent some really fun samples. So here is her card. Okay. So I got four custom chunk bags. And she sent us some super exciting samples, you guys. So let's dive in with the samples because they are so, so exciting. Okay, so she did a custom, uh, customer blending thing in her group. It was a contest. And these are some of the scents. She poured at least one scent that everybody had from everyone that, they, that everyone made. She had everybody make three scents, and she poured one from at least everybody. So um, this Friday... March 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. She will have these blends available. Then she'll have a second restock with the other blends on March 26th. So let's dive in and let's give credit where credit is due. This one is Bunny on the Boardwalk by Angela Thrasher, which is also known for the love of scents here on YouTube. She has espresso ice cream, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and boardwalk of marshmallow clouds and it is this super cute little yellow flower right off the header you get the um, espresso ice cream and then it follows with that boardwalk marshmallow clouds this was just poured on the first so it's not going to have full effects of all of it yet but this smells like pretty girl bougie. This smells like a um, little pretty, pretty preppy princess girl just left Bath and Body Works with her drink. That's what this smells like from Starbucks. So definitely a fun scent. Um, I would love to see how this vanilla waffle cone plays into this once it's cured the rest of the way and warmed. Okay, the next one is called Easter Sunday. And this is made by Angelique Bellamy. And this is vanilla ice cream, hot fudge brownie, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. Super pretty pink little flower. This is very creamy, dreamy fudge brownie sundae for sure. You get a very decadent, gooey fudge brownie, and then you get like that dollop of vanilla ice cream. So good. The waffle cone again in this has not come out yet. So I'm thinking that it's going to either just add to like the bakery of it or it will come in and sweeten up later. Very delicious blend. The next one is called Gold Bunny. Let's find the Gold Bunny. Okay, so it's not. Okay, Gold Bunny is by Kristen Carley. This is white chocolate and fluffy marshmallows. This is like, um, her fluffy marshmallows is divine. We all know how I feel about that one. So you definitely do smell that. And then you get almost like a vanilla Tootsie Roll chocolate scent. So it's vanilla tushy roll with fluffy marshmallows. Um, this was poured on the 4th, so it definitely needs to cure still. I'll have to come back to that one and see what it smells like once it's cured a little more. The next one we have is Bunny Barista. Where you at, Bunny Barista? Bunny Barista by Jen Morsch. A blend of espresso, chocolate, and marshmallow cream. This smells absolutely amazing. Um, the espresso in this is different than the espresso in the other ones. It's so crazy how espresso can change so differently from one scent to the next. The chocolate and the marshmallow, this one, definitely gives it a very distinct kind of Easter mocha thing going on. It is really good. And I like how it's not quite as dark smelling in this, like a dark roast kind of fresh pressed. It's more blended. The next one we have is called Bunny Ears. Bunny Ears, Bunny Ears, Bunny Ears. By Marcy 
Sepulus. Sorry if I Sepulus. Sorry if I said your last name wrong. Sugar cookie, vanilla buttercream, and pink sugar. This is very dominant on the pink sugar. You do get that vanilla buttercream. The sugar cookie is not real strong in it. It's like a super creamy um, pink sugar like frosting with a little bit of cookie note. You don't get it that much. This was just poured the first. I'm not super big into pink sugar, but that one's not bad. And then we have Bunny Hop by Tashawn Smith. This is eggnog, zucchini bread, and cotton candy. And it is a super cute little cheeky. This smells really good. This smells like a vamped up super sweet zucchini bread. Like the eggnog just pulls in that creamy and spice into the zucchini bread. So it just smells like I said, like a vamped up super sweet zucchini bread, but it is a really good blend. And that would be super fun to blend with. And then she sent me a mystery melt. This one. It smells like a combination of bear claws and zucchini bread. It smells very good. <laughs> I'm super excited for that. So that was the some of the some of the scents that will be available on the 12th, and some awesome customer blends, if you ask me. Now here is my customs. I had to rebag three of them because the bags got destroyed during shipping. So this is Nana's Bakery, which is bear claws, fresh baked bread, and sugar cookies. Love it. These were all poured very recent. This was on the fourth. And this is a bag full of super cute unicorns. Oops. As soon as you open the bag, I can smell this amazing, beautiful bakery. It smells like a bakery, like carved, just nothing but carbs. It's just bear claws, fresh baked bread and sugar cookies. It's just bakery carved up heaven. <laughs> and I got this cute little light lavender or light lilac unicorn with gold glitter and this one there's a whole bag of these shapes these are so good these are eight ounce bags half pound shape bags and they are nine dollars a piece customs so that one was nana's bakery love that scent so much by itself and a blend <coughs> then we have cookies and candy which is cotton candy sugar cookie and vanilla bean noel these were scents that were made for Valentine's Day, uh, the Valentine's Day blend thing, blend contest, and they were <laughs> they were, they were my some of my favorites. So, mm, I love this. Then I have that's and they're all these beautiful pinks, and they're two little fla two types of flowers. There's this beautiful pink with the blue glitter, and then this little beauty right here. Whole bag of them. Bobo, quit. And this just smells like super delicious cotton candy vanilla bean noel cookies literally you can actually smell that delicious vanilla bean noel the cotton candy is the top note and then the sugar cookie is really good i almost wish that i could have added sugar cookie dough with the sugar cookie and the other ingredients to give it more cookie i would have liked it to have a little heavier cookie note but i can always blend some cookie into it then we have sweet cheeks this was another customer's blend that i fell in love with this is birthday cake, cupcake at Tiffany's, and vanilla buttercream. This scent is so good. I can smell it through the bag. It just smells like the most amazing cupcake at Tiffany's with like extra, extra frosting. And in this one, there are these cute yellow ones. And I got little bees, little bumblebees. Oh, so good. And little butterflies and little flowers. I love it with spring and Easter on its way. Oh, this smells so good. Bring on Cupcake at Tiffany's with lots of frosting. And then the last custom bag we have is a set that I made called Friendship Over Pie. And I made this one, and it is Amish Friendship Bread, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Coconut Cream Pie. I 
I've been loving me some Amish friendship bread lately, y'all. And this one comes in a couple shapes too. Let's hope I got them all. I think I did. No, I didn't. Come here, little guy. And these guys, this smells so good. The coconut cream pie and the Amish friendship bread stand out the most in this. The vanilla bean Noel is just really in there to cream it up. It smells like a super duper amazing coconut cream pie with like almost like a cherry finish, like a light cherry maraschino cherry type finish. It's so good. And he came in these beautiful pale green with like an almost bluish indigo glitter and a little bear. And a super cute baby hippo. And his duper cute baby lion. These smell so good. I love bananas, you guys. I cannot talk enough about this vendor. She is such an amazing vendor. Great blend. She's always doing so good with trying to get her customers happy and just creating any all these wonderful scents that we all want. And she's so good at it. So good at it. She's execution of these things. So good. So I highly, highly recommend Nana Makes Sense. I will link her business down below in the description. Check her out. Remember her sale is coming up on the 12th and then we have another one on the 26th to get these Easter blends. Do not miss out. I have some blends that she made too. The blend that I made is called Some Bunny Loves You and you'll have to go check that out to find out what's in it. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out Nana Makes Sense if you've not tried her and if you have, you better get there and get some goods. Bye.